Right, I'm going to go through what you do on my SQL workbench if you get a decoding error. So I'm just going to head over here and I'm going to try and import some data. So if I head into browse and find the data that I want to import and then just click next. Now I'm going to create a new, t I can create an existing table or use an existing table but I'm going to just create a new table because obviously the city names that I'm using might be a bit too long. I'm going to drop the table if it exists, click next. Now can you see how I've got this error, this uh, decoding error? You will come across that frequently if the file that you are using has unusual characters, you know, outside what's known as UTF-8. So I'm going to open up this cities data set in Excel. I'm going to do file and save as. Now I'm going to change it from UTF-8 to just a plain CSV. Save, overwrite the data. Close it. Come back. Click this. Start importing the data again. Make sure I've selected the file. Drop table if it exists. You know, just create a new one. If I don't um, create a new one and my character size of my old database isn't matching it won't allow it anyway here we go it now picks it up and i can map the fields so i can obviously pick whatever i want here but i'll just leave that because it seems to have worked it out next and it's starting importing the data next a thousand records finish now if i head over here check and there we go, my data has now been imported. So that is how you solve that error.